6.28 a trolley of mass 200 kg moves with a uniform speed of 36 km per hour on a frictionless track a child of mass 20 kg runs on the trolley from one end to the other 10 meter away with a speed of 4 meter per second relative to the trolley in a direction opposite to that its motion and jumps out of the trolley what is the final speed of the trolley and how much has the trolley moved from the time the child begins to run okay now see here mass of child say it is m1 20 kilogram that is given to you then mass of trolley say that is m2 that is 200 kilogram and speed that is 36 kilometer per hour that is 10 meter per second now see here it is given to you initially when child is in the trolley then we can say the entire system is made by two objects trolley and child so initial total linear momentum of the system that is child plus trolley so that is p1 equal to total mass that is m1 plus m2 into speed so that is 20 plus 200 into 10 you will get 2200 kilogram meter per second now here it is given to you child start running with speed 4 meter per second and that is the relative speed okay and that is in the opposite direction of motion of the trolley so we can write here velocity of child means velocity of one with respect to two relative word is used that is minus four meter per second because it is moving in the opposite direction of motion of trolley so here minus four now suppose we take v1 that is the velocity of child with respect to ground and v2 that is velocity of trolley with respect to ground then this relative velocity v12 that we can write v1 minus v2 that is minus 4 so v1 equal to v2 minus 4 we are interested in the velocity of trolley because finally we want to find the distance covered by trolley and what is the final speed of trolley now see child is running with speed 4 meter per second and is 10 meter away and now we can say when child jump from it then child cover 10 meter distance now speed is 4 meter per second so time taken by child to jump from the trolley that is distance upon speed so 10 by 4 that is 2.5 second okay now as per the law of conservation of momentum initial total linear momentum and final total linear momentum of the system will remain same one so p2 final total linear momentum that is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and that will be equal to p1 but v1 that is v2 minus v4 we derived so m1 20 into v2 minus 4 m2 200 into v2 that is equal to p1 2200 now if you solve this one then you will get v2 this much meter per second now see the question how much has the trolley moved from the time the child begins to run so child take time to jump from the trolley that is 2.5 seconds so within this 2.5 second what is the distance covered by trolley so now we have the velocity of trolley with respect to ground so distance covered that is v2 into t 
So substitute here the value of V2, which we calculated into time T, that is 2.5, then solve it. You will get the distance covered by the trolley when the child jump from it. Clear to all of you?